The gala premiere of Suffragette opened the London Film Festival and the stars unexpectedly shared the event with a protest against domestic violence. Good on them, we made a political film. Why shouldn't there be some political activity on the red carpet? Absolutely, and I'm surprised Anne-Marie and Helen didn't get down on the carpet with them. <laughs> um, they were so excited. The film follows a group of suffragettes. For 50 years, we have laboured peacefully to secure the vote for women. As they fight for equality in the early 1900s. The festival also welcomed British acting royalty. Maggie Smith reprises her 1999 stage role in Alan Bennett's The Lady in the Van, about the woman who lived in his driveway for 15 years. Were you planning on staying long? The film teams the 80-year-old star back up with the play's director, Nicholas Heitner. She's having to hurl herself into the van, she's having to run up the hill of Gloucester Crescent, she's having to run down, she's having to chase children. She's The physical energy she brings to it, quite apart from the incredible intellectual and emotional energy that she always brings, was, was quite frightening to watch sometimes. I won a prize for painting. But it's all lumps, you have to mix it. I have, I have mixed it, only I... I got some Madeira cake in it. Monet himself could not have done it better. Helen Mirren hit the festival red carpet too with Breaking Bad's Brian Cranston. Isn't that what you're supposed to do before the Queen? Show your respects? Their Trumbo follows 1940s blacklisted screenwriter Dalton Trumbo, writing movie hits in secret. If there is some other writer's name on it, don't believe it. He drank too much, he ate terribly. Worked like crazy, but he was a wordsmith. But what a character to play. And, and a great cause, a real important message to the movie. Johnny Depp came to the festival to show off his transformation for Black Mass. He gives a chilling performance as violent Boston gangster Jimmy Whitey Bulger. I sort of beefed up a little bit for the thing because he was a very, he was a very physical man and uh, very, quite a tough man. So, you know, just using that you know and and the sort of physicality of the man himself was uh, was hugely important it seemed to work you know I, I, i've gotten uh, some letters from uh, some of his associates former associates let's say and uh, I, it, it freaked him out of it you know co-star benedict cumberbatch would happily transform too into the next james bond i can wear a suit yeah i can do that and i can fight but yeah, and I can raise my eyebrow, but um, that's not Old all that Tampa takes to play Bond. And they might want to go in very different directions, and who knows, who knows. It would be fun, though, wouldn't it? He's nailed another iconic role, though. He was at the festival on his one night off from Theatre Smash Hamlet.